Well, certainly there have been times in your life when you've pulled an all-nighter. Maybe you've stayed out late with friends or you were kept awake by noisy neighbors next door or even a crying baby in the next room. There have been nights when we've sacrificed a few hours of sleep. But when you do that, you're not just setting yourself up to being groggy in the morning. You're also putting your body at risk. Gordon explains more in the first part of our new series called Protect Your Health. We've all heard about the importance of getting a good night's sleep. Yet four out of 10 people get only six hours of sleep or less a night. That doesn't just leave them feeling tired the next day, it's also weakening their immune systems. Simply put, when we sleep, our bodies repair and restore themselves. Without enough sleep, we become targets for all kinds of sickness. When individuals are getting less than, let's say, five to six hours of sleep, it's been found that your pro-inflammatory markers um, in your blood, so these cytokines that are communicating between different cells, they are elevated. And when some of these pro-inflammatory markers are elevated, um, you're at a higher risk of developing ultimately other issues. Like trouble fighting off colds and flu. To prove this point, researchers studied two groups of men. One group slept four hours a night, and the other slept eight. After one week, they compared the blood samples from each group. The men who slept eight hours a night had twice the flu-fighting antibodies. In other studies, scientists discovered that when we're sleep-deprived, our T-cell numbers go down. You need T-cells in your body, absolutely. They're your body's first defense um, of getting rid of the bugs, germs, bacteria, viruses, fungi, any of those infections that you have. That's your body's first response. It's one thing to choose sleep deprivation because you're working or playing too much. Insomnia is entirely different. It's trying to get a good eight hours and failing because of trouble falling asleep, or waking up and not being able to get back to sleep. If you struggle with insomnia, you may be tempted to reach for a sleeping pill. But doctors say there's some other things you should try first. Sleeping pills in generally have some long-term effects that we're still learning about. There's some you know, concerns about memory issues that could develop as a result of taking these medicines long-term. And in some instances, they can make the underlying medical condition worse. So instead of popping a pill, cut back, or better yet, cut out all caffeine. Caffeine is in all sorts of things, so it doesn't necessarily have to be coffee. It could be tea. It, it, green tea has caffeine in it, maybe not as much as coffee, but um, you know your Monster Energy drinks, your Five Hour Energies, any of these types of things, they do have caffeine in them. Um, chocolate. In addition to caffeine, just say no to that nap on the couch. A lot of people think, oh, I didn't sleep well at night, I'm gonna take a nap in the afternoon. Well, that's just reducing your body's drive to wanna sleep at nighttime. At least an hour before bedtime, dim the lights and stop looking at anything that emits light, like the TV or the computer. Ultimately, when we get stimulated with light, it reduces our body's melatonin production. And we need melatonin to help us fall asleep at night and to maintain sleep during the majority of the nighttime. Regular exercise will also have you sleeping like a baby. The exercise has a neurochemical impact in improving your sleep. Don't eat within a few hours of bedtime and don't take a shot of alcohol before bed. It will knock you out all right, but it will also wake you up later. When you get ready for bed, make sure your bedroom is dark and cool. Don't pay bills worry about tomorrow, or argue with your spouse. All these things cause wakefulness. Instead, read a chapter in the Bible. Meditating on scripture will calm you down, and it's a great way to end the day. One more thing, try to go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on the weekends. Your body needs an established rhythm of sleep. If you've tried everything, and you still feel exhausted during the day, you might be one of the millions of Americans who suffer with sleep apnea. It can damage your health, and many people don't even know they have it. 
Sleep apnea occurs when your airway closes on and off throughout the night, so you never get the deep, restorative sleep you need. Common symptoms of sleep apnea, number one is snoring, loud disruptive snoring. Certainly if there's somebody that tells you that you're choking and gasping and you're actually stopping breathing while sleeping, that's another one. Another symptom is unrefreshing sleep. When you're waking up and let's say you've allowed yourself eight hours of sleep, but you wake up and felt like you were just, you're hit by a truck, you barely slept at all. If you think you might have sleep apnea, get tested at a sleep center. Tom Kramer was diagnosed with it two years ago. Since then, he's used the CPAP machine every night, and he says he feels like a new man. I think that just now my immune system, uh, it's much better. I don't get colds or, you know, the sinus infections and so forth like I used to. Uh, I don't wake up with a sore throat and a dry throat. That's a big thing, too. The CPAP machine blows a gentle stream of air to prevent the throat from closing so you don't wake up. I've got more energy. I've lost over 20 pounds just being on the CPAP. By making some common sense changes, you can get the sleep you need and enjoy a much stronger immune system. Thank you. The significance of sleep, who knew? I knew. I didn't know that much. It's pretty, pretty, but, yeah. uh, you, you know, Terry, the, the big thing is to make sure there's no light because there's always light. Everywhere you turn around, there's light. you got to make sure you sleep in a dark room. And um, the best temperature is about 65 degrees, and, and most people want it a lot warmer than that, and that's not good. So well, Sometimes I, you have to break habits. You know, some uh, people yeah. go to sleep with television set on. No way. That's terrible for you. Well, either that or they have a computer, and the computer doesn't completely turn uh -huh. off, so it's that flashing. green lights. And, yeah, there's something. <laughs> going on and the TV is not completely off and so there's a light and lights filtering in so you need a dark room and you need 65. I, I find something very helpful. There's a friend of mine, uh, you know, who went to South Africa and he came back with, with a thing called Slow Mag. It was a magnesium slow release that was a wonderful thing for sleep. Magnesium is very good for calming people down and, and it's, mm -hmm. it's excellent for you. A lot of people have a magnesium shortage so magnesium is good and, you know, it keeps you from getting leg cramps and things. But uh, I'm, I'm a, a fan of melatonin, but some people it just doesn't work. And, mm -hmm. you know, it, you take quite a bit of it to make yeah, it. Yeah, so you've got to be careful how much of it you take, but it, 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 it works. But uh, no substitute for hitting a sack. And, uh, and, uh, and being at peace when you do that, you know, not mulling over the <laughs> problems of the day or the week or the month. I was at the University of North Carolina for Saturday, and... Uh, uh, my friend uh, Andy Kaiser is a brilliant uh, heart, uh, he's head of the cardiology at I think the medical center there at UNC. Uh, he met me and uh, he had said, I did an aorta replacement about two o'clock this morning and uh, he maybe got a couple hours sleep. Good grief. And, uh, He's, he's, I said, you know, what, what is it? He said, well, we've got this thing. I said, you, 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 you have him on a heart lung machine? Well, actually, he said, they, 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 they put them to death. I mean, they freeze them, uh, the people. And he said, I had 20 minutes. And if I don't get him fixed in 20 minutes, he's gone. So, I mean, you talk about under pressure. And he got a good night's sleep. <laughs> but <laughs> Very good night's I, sleep. I said, what about doctors? Well, doctors get used to this business of, of, of all-nighters. And so he, he made it. I mean, he had a couple hours sleep, and I, hmm. he was doing fine. But I, I can't do that. And I, I think we're not supposed to. So yeah, more sleep I think we're not supposed to either. I think, we, I think we do adapt to things. I'm a great but... believer in naps, too. You know, I, I can, my father lived to ripe old age and he always took a 30 minute nap yeah my gram called it 40 winks 40 <laughs> winks well i mean you know his he, my father's secretary would would leave the office and they'd say 30 <laughs> and, and, and he'll he, be back he had, a, he had a couch and he'd he'd sack out for 30 yeah. minutes and then he he and then he went, worked out in the gym but he, he was very active and very strong but i i think a nap i don't i don't mind taking a nap naps are well, good for you me. know our bodies are pretty amazing and if we listen they yeah. will often gently tell us what they need. Well, we're going to talk about what our bodies need throughout this week on the 700 Club. We'll be showing you more ways that you can protect your health and build a strong immune system. And you know with the flu system coming, you want to know all of this. The good news, if you miss an episode, you can just call that number that's on your screen. We're going to send you a free DVD containing all of the five parts you'll see this week.
week. And if you're a member of the 700 Club and you use Pledge Express, you'll receive the DVD automatically. For, so just look for it in the mail. It'll be coming to you. Also, you can watch this series by going to our website. That's cbn.com. So you can take advantage of watching all of this information on how to build a healthy immune system right there. We're going to be back with more of the 700 Club after this.